Well, welcome back to my channel, guys. This is another special Corbin Does Something. Uh, you may have noticed a little bit of change in scenery here. I decided that I wanted my office to be a little bit more of uh, my workshop instead of spreading out on the kitchen table to do projects or just randomly taking over the living room or other people's houses or the kitchen. Um, kind of just wanted to set up this small corner of my office. That's for you guys. Also for me, because I'm very disorganized. And if I put everything I'm disorganized with in one spot, I have to organize it to keep doing things. Makes sense. You may have recalled, we did the Raspberry Pi. This little computer, which is a pain in the ass to put together if you don't know what you're doing. I highly suggest you watch that video. I'll put a link. I'm, I don't know where it'll be. One of these directions up here. Um... But I'll put that together. I'm going to take this and start a new project with it. Now the main project that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, taking calendars and making them digital. Because as you can see, my, let me just zoom in, my calendar, I still have September on there. It's... Almost Halloween. Let me zoom back out. <laughs> That's the wrong way. So, anyways, it's almost Halloween. Um, I haven't updated it. And I don't update it. So, that calendar is mostly just for YouTube videos and to keep my schedule and everything going. When I should be filming a video, when I want it to come out, all of that. So, it's just pretty hard to just walk over there with a dry erase board and, or a dry erase marker and, and clean it off. Plus I try to color code things. It's ridiculous. I want a digital calendar. I want to be able to take it from my phone, link it with all of my other calendars, my work calendar, my personal calendar, the Facebook calendar, all of that. Link those together. Uh, I'm hoping I can link it with YouTube um, on the scheduled release and all that and have it auto update. I don't know the software that well, but right now I'm going to take this and another one and uh, take them apart. We're going to start with that and then I'm going to build a frame and we're going to put it into the frame. So I had two monitors just like this well, one just like this, one other on the same size, slightly different buttons and all that, that uh, were from old computers. I'm not actually sure where the one that looks like this came from, because I never had a Dell that had that monitor, just randomly showed up in my collection of monitors. I was going to build it with those two, and I thought, ah, oh, crap, I'll have to get new buttons for it, because they're different sizes, and that would annoy me that they're not exactly the same. And also the screen was just slightly off, too. Um, then I went to the Salvation Army and I picked this up for twelve ninety nine, and it might have even been on sale. And uh, it's seventeen inches. That's what I told her at least. You know. But we're gonna take that. We're gonna take it apart, and uh, we're gonna go from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, just unscrew the back here. There we go. Alright. Let's just dig into this. There it is. So you can maybe see there's little divots in the screen or in the plastic here. I think those are the breakaway points. Boom. Frame is coming apart. These are the buttons, so I guess it didn't matter. Alright. Let's 
see if we can pull this baby out. see monitor apart the other one will be just like that it'll come out easier here it is I want to make sure it's still working I don't think you can see it but boom all right so you can see we got the monitors in or the frame built rather the monitors aren't actually in they're just in here to size it up I'm gonna put some one buys going all the way around the sides as a frame and then I'm going to put another one right behind this to give it uh, a little bit nicer look. And then I'm going to put a shelf in at the bottom here. And the Raspberry Pi and everything should go right into there. So that's the idea is to have that as a separate spot. But I'm going to put the one buys in to essentially frame it off. All right, guys. So here we have the uh, the monitors inside the case. Uh, I'm gonna do some uh, backer rod around the sides, and then on the front where the monitors are laying, I'm gonna put foam. And then I'm also gonna have two pieces of wood go across and block these in. Um, I'm still trying to decide how to run the power. As you can see, there's this little bay here. This was going to be for the computer um, to sit on and anything, you know, that would go in there. But it, I still got to run the power through it, so through it to it. So I also have to figure out what to do with these. I'm not really sure. Um, they might just sit loose for a little while. I don't really need them, but I don't want to lose them. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to cut some wood and... Uh, get to it all right okay so you can see in here i put uh a little bit of this stuff it's a sponge window seal and i put it around and this is going to fill in any gaps I'm gonna do a quick test we got the monitors in here um all plugged up i'm going to plug it in I went ahead and got these adapters, $7.99 off of Amazon. It looks higher quality than the last ones, let's hope it works. These are going to go into the HDMI ports on here. There's one, and there's two. I plug in the USB-C. Alright. And now, for the moment of truth, where is this going to go? Plug her in right here. A little bit of a mess, but oh, right away, right away. I don't know what happened. Is it not getting enough power? See both of them. Can you? No, you can. All right, good. Both of them are working. So, the Raspberry Pi was not at fault. Apparently, every USB charger that I have sucks, except for my cell phone one. Fuck. All right. Let's play. Always crashes on the internet, so let's see how that works. Boom. Okay. So that's awesome. That's that's great. Let me see if I can do any, any adjustments here. up. Oh, I turned it off. Whoops. that 
brighten us up. Awesome. Oh, that's really bright. Let's see this one. So those are really bright. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to do the calendar on them. Damn. That's good. So I just need a way to make sure that these stay in here and they don't go anywhere else. A little putty and stain it. I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount it. And I think I got that, I think I got that figured out. So. Alright guys, so just to show you where I'm at right now, I got the top monitor set up with DAC board. Free one screen per a uh, free account. Um, very limited in function, but I have it connected to my Google Calendar and I have the weather and the time. Um, put it into full screen mode, I'll set it up to uh, stay it. Oh. automatically and I'm gonna look for something for the uh, bottom screen see if I can find something better than DAC board I really wanted color coding but I can't do that with DAC board so that's actually really cool it allows me to play a video behind it so I just kind of threw the play uh, my one of my playlists in there and it plays it there's no sound obviously that's not coming yet so uh, well, that's where I'm at. So we're gonna finish this thing off and and hang it up. Oh man, I'm tired. Hey guys, got it stained. Uh, you can't see it. Let me adjust it down. You still can't really see, but it's, it's not very pretty. I did a horrible job. Uh, I used a uh, sponge brush instead of a regular brush because um, I didn't want to make a mess. And I just made a mess on the thing. So doesn't matter though. It's going into a corner. So now. It's all about cable management and uh, setting that up. I'll uh, get it ready and then take a picture and show you how it looks. All right, guys, you can see cable management is kind of done. Um, I still haven't figured out a way to adhere the plates onto these. You can see I got it on one of them. Um, I just need to find a spot that I can put it at, and I'm thinking, well, that won't work. Um, this. This board here is actually curved, so or not curved, but cut slightly different, so that way I can um, slide another piece in there. I do need to get that to hold. That's not going to stay, is it? Um, that's disappointing. But another board cut on a 45 degree angle will slip in and hold this steady. The, uh, the sides here are holding the monitors in, so those will be perfect. Uh, I put a little bracket that I found in the garage to hold these cords right here. Um, power cord, everything goes there. I'm going to have to get a different one for the Raspberry Pi because I don't want to use the cell phone charger. But I do have a short cord for it, so let me try that. Um, HDMI cables. The keyboard and mouse will not be a permanent part of it, so... Uh, I'm not worried about that. The Raspberry Pi will sit down here. And you can see this little bracket here. <laughs> it literally is just to hold the cables here. I just needed something to hold that zip tie without ripping it like the screws did. And I had this in the garage, so I think it's a shelf bracket. Um, but yeah, so let's. 
Uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay. I'm going to mount this to the wall. We're going to fire her up, make sure she works, and we'll be good from there. Hey guys, as you can see, I, uh, I mounted the other brace on there. That's cut at a 45 degree angle, so it should, everything should just slide right in. Um, now this is not a perfect design, so some things might fall out in the background. Uh, so I mean, there's always that. Alright, let's... There we are. Oh, even better. <laughs> now that it's straight, let's make sure it's not broke. That doesn't look like anything broke. So there it is, all hooked up. You can really see how ugly it is now. Alright guys, here we go. This is the finished project. Um, I still got the keyboard and mouse plugged in, but whatever. The uh, top one, I had videos going through it. It seemed like the Raspberry Pi was getting really hot with it, so I switched over to just still images that just threw in the thumbnails that are saved on Google Drive. Um, I still have the calendar on here. I'm thinking about just switching to a basic Google Calendar. I really like the idea of having something behind it, really cool, but I kind of want color coding. Um, the thing I did on the bottom here is I actually uh, have a map, and this is actually hosted on a Wix site for free, um, but uh, I have a map with all the time zones, and then the time for each time zone at the bottom there and for my actual job I deal with people in different time zones so this will help it's uh, kinda what I just got going for right now until I can figure out a few more things but hey this wasn't too bad at all so uh, it's mounted on the wall it's sturdy I did try to use an Apple charger the USB port and it didn't work because that was a a lot smaller than the Samsung one. The Raspberry Pi in the case gets too hot, so I took it out of the case. It definitely cooled down after that. I haven't run into any problems with it. I've had it running for about 30 minutes outside of the case. It uh, it froze up after 20 minutes on the other one. So if you have any ideas on what else I can do with this, I really do like the calendar feature, but I want it color coded, and I can't do that unless I want to pay four dollars a month. I'm not paying four dollars a month for color code. I'll get rid of the background image. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, give me some ideas. This is literally just a prototype, so it looks like garbage. But you know what? Here's a tip. Don't buy construction grade wood at Home Depot for finer projects. There's also exhaust up here. I'm gonna put a fan in here just to kind of blow it through. It is open on the back and uh, you can see there is no cords. It is going straight through the wall and powering it. So this is actually really cool. I like it. I can see all the time frames, my main time frame, everything's on there. It's good. I don't know what else to say. Just like the video already.